hello guys welcome to my channel i hope you are all doing well and on today's reading we are going to check how does your person feels about you so this reading all, is all going to be about his heart space and what's going on in his heart what kind of emotions does this person have for you so yeah that's the topic for today and we are going to have three different piles so i'm going to put the piles on the screen now so please make your selection and i'm going to see you on your reading thank you hello pile one so if you have chosen the watermelon image this is going to be your reading and we are going to check your person's feelings towards you and from the first but like that first um, impression if you have chosen watermelon i feel like you might have met this person in summer because um watermelon is a very summery fruit so that could be one of the things but yeah let me know if it resonates just give me a second guys I need to check something sorry about that guys so let's see for pile one with the watermelon image how does the your person feels about them pile one please give me some clarity guys my cars my angels my ancestors and my spirit guys please guide this reading for me for pile one how does the your person feels about them? Have you not been talking to this person for a long time? Like maybe few, not few, like long, maybe six, seven months. Definitely more than six months. Can I please have these cards one by one? like you're in no contact with this person guys can I please have the number one thank you we have the devil I feel like there might be some kind of cheating involved in this connection you might feel a bit betrayed by this person let's see how 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 do they feel about them for pile one please because when I was shuffling the cards, I also see the third party. Yes, guys, I think someone has walked away from this connection. And I feel like this connection was very toxic. And this person could be very charming, very attractive. And maybe he always tries to pull you back into the connection by using those things about him. Like his looks, his words and love bombing type of thing how do they feel about them please pile one and this person could be a capricorn and you could be a water sign and i feel like in this connection you probably said something like enough is enough and then you just walked away how do they feel about you yes guys definitely we have six of swords as well definitely someone has walked away in this connection and i don't necessarily see that you are in contact with this person how do they feel about them we have five of cups whoops can you see that card okay I'm gonna take the moon and we have four of cups here guys so first things first i feel like this person definitely feels like you are not in in his life anymore and this situation kind of um makes him feel sad like he i think he kind of misses you he's like because i feel like you you have given more than one chances to this person and he just couldn't really um use use them he, he didn't really use them in a, in a good way like he didn't um, understand how much you actually sacrificed by giving him 
a lot of chances and maybe you have, might have give this person five chances but doesn't have to be and i feel like because you left this person this person is definitely in a dark place now and he's like you know i think this person knows um that his personality is not that great and i think when you left after you left this person he kind of started to see the things that you know he kind of um is not good and he did to you he kind of see things in a bit more clear way but it doesn't mean that he's going to change it if you give this person another chance and, and i hope you don't do that because this person comes with as devil so this this person doesn't really is not really someone that is going to change the way he lives his life easily for someone but only for himself if he wants to so i think now this person dreams about you because we have this moon card i think he's he might have seen you in his dreams and maybe he's trying to get into your dreams to contact with you again and i think he's very depressed that you left him he's very depressed and i also feel like this person might be struggling with his finances guys now and and i think this person knows that he kind of messed up the situation he knows that you have given him chances but he just couldn't really do he couldn't really use them let me get these back so how do they feel so how do they how do they feel we have queen of pentacles i think this person thinks that you had a lot of stability compared to him in terms of your life maybe you have a regular house or you have a good job we have this eight of cups again <laughs> oh my god and i think because you left he also feels like his stability kind of is affected by you maybe he was living with you and then he had to move out like i feel like when when you left this person his stability in terms of his finances and house and everything also affected we have king of swords how do they feel about them please I don't like this person's energy guys this person could be an air sign how do they feel about them i feel like after you left them this person kind of i mean he knows how what he has done but he is not someone that is going to come out of his way to apologize to you and he kind of get into the defensive mood like he doesn't talk he's giving you the cold shoulder which is actually something that he should do the opposite in this case because he is the wrong one he is the one who has betrayed you but yeah this person is like he might have a big ego that could be the reason or maybe he is just he doesn't really accept his mistakes easily this could be his personality and i think this person I don't want to say that i feel like this person i don't necessarily see a lot of emotions from this person and everything i see like how, how he feels about you i feel like this person feels sad the most about like how all of this situation affected his life not necessarily he feels sad and he cries over you i mean you probably feel sad because he feels you're lost but it's it's more like how this breakup affected his life so it's all about him not about you and i don't really like that this five of swords energy usually gives me someone who is a bit narcissistic but obviously i'm not a doctor and i'm not here to um, tell anyone that they are narcissistic or they have this disorder or that so i can't say that but yeah this person's is energy is, is a bit weird i don't like that So 
Tower. How do they feel about Pile One, please? Faith. For restoration. I don't like this. This person is like probably he he could he thinks like we were we have consciousness. He feels like we we were meant to be together. Like how dare you that you are leaving me alone? Like why are you leaving me? This person might have some abandonment issues as well, and I think he's not good with expressing himself. And because of like maybe he was like you know we were going to get married we were going to do that we were going to be together forever but then he was just leaving me and he's really frustrated about that but then i think this thing has to happen for him to gain more clarity about what he has done and if it's actually fixable or not so yeah i think this person even though he feels your loss your um, you kind of disappeared from his life. He definitely feels sad, but it's it's more like about him. Like, how can you um, affect my where I live, or how what do I do for work, or what do I, how much money I make? Like, how can you affect that? You know, this person is all about himself. He's a bit selfish, and that's one of the reasons I don't really like his energy. And be because we have eight here, I think this person could be a karmic partner as well. And I feel like it uh, doesn't have to be, but I feel like this person could be a mixed race, guys. Mixed race, and you could be a more like a maybe brown or black girl. Has like curly hair and you know really curvy and nice and probably you are both tall but yeah it doesn't have to be let me see if you can see the cards oh wow it's very blurry I don't know why oh that's really bad guys I've just made it a bit more clear and hopefully it doesn't bother you that much but i'm sorry i didn't realize it let me see if it's clear now yeah it is definitely is but yeah i think it wasn't sorry about that so yeah this was your reading pile one and i hope you like it if it resonated you can subscribe to my channel for more and if you want to get a private reading you can find my email in the description box thank you Bye bye. Hello pile two. So if you have chosen the second image, which I think it was the Kiwi one, this is going to be your reading. So let's find out how does your person feels about you. The pile two, how does their person feels about them for pile two? Can I have these cards one by one, please? How does the year person feels about them? We have four of swords. You might be in no contact with this person or you might have met this person through holidays. We have two of cups. How do they feel about them? Pile two, please. Pile two. Page of Swords. Ace of Wands. Oh my god, I think this person really wants to talk to you. This person is in love, guys. <laughs> Who you are dealing with. Can I please have them one by one? I think you met this person through school or maybe through something about like a workshop. 
and we have the death and rebirth at the back of the deck and we have nine of cups okay so first things first guys i feel like maybe you are not talking to this person now but it's not necessarily because you are in bad terms this it could also be a reason but i don't necessarily see that here but maybe this person went for holiday and then he's a bit busy so he can't really talk as you used to but yeah i think this person is definitely this person definitely has strong feelings for you and he feels like you are his twin flame his soulmate or wh whatever you want to call it this person definitely feels connected to you in terms of his heart space and i think he really wants to talk to you about something maybe about a about a topic that you are both interested in it could be i don't know maybe like books or um some type of idea that you are both interested in and passionate about so i think this person really wants to talk to you about that and <clears throat> also he's very passionate about you in terms of your chemistry like he when he sees you he probably enjoys putting his hands on you or something not not in a bad way not in a bad way <laughs> <coughs> sorry <coughs> sorry guys not in a bad way like you know he just kind of maybe he like rubs your shoulder or whatever you know he just like he likes physical touch because i think he feels connected to you that's the reason and i think whenever um and i feel like when the when this person met you he kind of felt like he he got the jackpot you know it's like whatever he was wishing for on in a woman he kind of get that with you so this person is definitely in love and i'm getting more like a younger energy from this pile but when i say younger i don't mean 15 i mean like maybe early 20s or early um early 30s something like that but more like between 20 to 30 I guess yeah this person is definitely in love and in terms of zodiacs I'm seeing a lot of cups and also swords here so you could be a sword which is Aries no, not Aries <laughs> um, Aquarius, Libra or Gemini and this person could be a water sign but yeah zodiacs doesn't always um, resonate so don't really um, bother yourself with that and I think you might have a fringe guys your hair maybe you have a fringe because this girl has a fringe here and also this girl has a fringe so maybe that could be important in your connection and I feel like both like to and like to um, learn new things we are very open to new opportunities ideas and you know maybe some people you know when you tell these ideas to someone they're gonna be like why, why do you want to learn about that like that's not you know interesting but i think that's one of the things that kind of connect you with this person like your weird and unique self come together in a very harmonious way with this person but yeah let, let me see let's see <clears throat> how do they feel about you i think this person really wants to talk to you guys can you please let me know if you are in no contact or not? Right, this person kind of can't wait to talk to you and see you again. How do they feel about them? Pile two, please. Can I have them one by one, please? Let me just light this. Pile 2, how do they feel about them? Because I was holding the deck upside down, that's the reason I, I turned this card. So let's see. How do they feel about them? We have the world, oh my god. This person definitely wants to have this happy ending with you, like he just wants to offer you his love and 
he wants to be with you forever like obviously we can we may never know if it's gonna be forever but that's how he views your connection we have the hermit yes guys i feel like maybe you're not talking to this person now and i don't know what happened really but i don't necessarily see anything too serious in terms of like bad things like cheating or abuse or anything like that i don't see that here how do they feel about them pile two please And I think you are both very um, passionate about making money, more money, more money and more money. It kind of drives you crazy, like having more money and everything. Okay, we have the three of swords. So, okay, okay, let me just get one more card. <laughs> and the chariot and we have the wheel of fortune here and i've also seen this card seven of pentacles okay so because we have these three of swords here i feel like i should tell you this i feel like if, if either one of you maybe maybe um this person finds something online about you like or maybe a picture with you're sitting with a friend and there's just a misunderstanding that you know someone has cheated and because of that reason i think one of you kind of get into silence mood maybe the person blamed you like oh you went out with that and you did that you did this and then you were like that it didn't happen but you were really upset so you kind of went into no contact or this could be vice versa so if you ever felt like maybe this person disrespected you or betrayed you or cheated on you i don't necessarily see it here i'm just seeing it more like a misunderstanding because we have so many positive cards here guys and i think this person really wants to move things forward with you like he doesn't want to stuck in these no contact or this kind of flaky energy he wants to move things forward and he wants to come together with you again this person could be a virgo so pile two how do they feel about them please yeah disruption i think he just sees like why are we even arguing about that that didn't happen there was no cheating nothing you know why are we still thinking about that let's not um let's not stop the relationship from growing further we have caution Can I have just one more card, please? Yes, we have pain. And we have anger here. <laughs> so this person is like, I think even though what happened here, he's, he still, you know, let's say you, he thought that you have cheated on him and that it's not real. Even though I think this person still have some kind of um, um, suspicion in his heart or maybe you have a bit of su suspicion but staying apart doesn't really make you feel happy and it's it just brings you pain so this person really wants you to come together and he really feels alone and like he feels like he can't really talk to anyone like he used to talk to you so he really wants to come back so yes guys this was how this person feels about you and if it did resonate you can subscribe to my channel for more and if you want to get a private reading you can email me <coughs> and i put my email in the description box so you can check out that one so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'm going to see you on another one bye bye 
Hello Pile 3, so if you have chosen the apple, this is going to be your reading and we are going to find out how does your person feel about you, okay? So let me grab my deck and actually, let me just light this one a bit more. So for pile 3, can you please show me how does their person feels about them? We have the moon, lots of confusion, daydreaming. How do they feel about them please? Pile 1. Sorry, not pile 1, pile 3. Oh, I just dropped the card on the floor. Sorry. We have knight of pentacles. We have Ten of Pentacles. We have the Temperance. Can I just have one card, please? Thank you. And we have Queen of Wands. Okay. Okay, this is not bad. This is actually positive, guys. So let me leave this stack on the side for a minute. So first of all guys, like I said, I feel like there is a lot of confusion going on from his side and he is, he is like having a lot of um, conflict thoughts in his mind about you and I think this person wasn't really happy that your connection was um, going really slow in terms of progression like maybe you were kind of trying to take things a bit slow and this person was like why are we taking this that slow or maybe this could be vice versa maybe he was taking things too slow and you were frustrated you know you were like we both want to have these ten of pentacles so what are we waiting for like why are we going this slow but then this person was feeling like if he takes his time the connection is going to go a bit more stable which he um cares more compared to just having a family after five months of dating or something so that's one of the things guys and another thing is that i feel like this person but this is this is not for everyone let me just tell you i feel like this person might have had some issues with his family um some type of family drama and then maybe he kind of felt like he needs to balance that situation first he needs to heal that he needs to solve that problems so that you're not going to be affected that's one of the things and if if that is not your case that's okay you know this is just a general reading so i need to tell you what kind of what all of the messages i get from this reading guys and i think this person i think this person thinks that you are really different but he doesn't necessarily see that as a block in your connection like let's say he, if he's not good at something you are good at um, doing that thing so is he feels like you kind of complete each other and he really likes that and i think that's one of the things that kind of makes this guy fall in love with you even more because he's like oh i can't do that but she can actually do it like that's that's very impressive i think you are probably someone who is um very ambitious and you have goals and you know what you're doing in your life and i think you might also be spiritual but doesn't have to be i'm getting more like a sagittarius leo or 
Aries vibe from you and this guy I think he could be an earth sign I think he's an earth sign guys and if it's not that's okay maybe it's on his birth chart <laughs> I don't know but yeah I think this person feels like you are such a wonderful woman that has goals and you know what you are doing you know where your life is going and where you're going to end up so he I think this guy could be younger than you guys maybe you are in your 35 like let's say mid 30s to late mid after like yeah over mid 30s and I think this person may be around his late 20s or early 30s like I feel like there's a bit of age gap but not too much maybe like five five ten years difference between two of you so can you please show me how does how does this person feel about them pile three page of cups <laughs> this person i think he feels like you are in terms of where you are in life is like here and this person is like here and he is just looking at you and he's very impressed by your skills and everything and he's like mm, i have this little cup if you want like i i love you i like you <laughs> i think this person really likes you so how do they feel about them three of cups i think this person really enjoyed the spend that he has the, the time that he has spent with you maybe you kind of go out have fun and dance and i think you or this person but i feel like it's probably more you has a more goofy side and he really likes that about you so how do they feel about them we have death And then we have the world. <laughs> oh my god. There are lots of like death and the world. For me, this means that he feels like, or yeah, I think he feels like he has to. Sorry, there's a hair here. So he feels like he needs, like this connection needs to be, have some kind of transformation with this death card to get these 10 of pentacles. And he's like, we have a potential, we can have this world together. So we need to transform this connection into something more meaningful, something more stable. So let's work together and just make it happen. We are a great match. Like that's the energy that I'm getting from this person, guys. So how do they feel about them? I'm gonna get only one, but for this one, I feel like maybe the scars were meant to go, want to be here. We have these Ace of Cups and the Empress. This person is really like, I think he, he is. He really likes how you look in terms of your body and your face and everything, and he really wants to start this connection in a bit more, in a bit more loving and stable way. Like that's. What he wants, he wants to give you this little, little blue heart that we are seeing here, and we also can see it here as well. So, and I think, guys, okay, I, I know this is gonna sound very awkward, but um, I should still tell you what I see. I feel like this person thinks that you are very fertile. Like, he feels like he can have so many kids with you, and I don't know why he thinks that way. Yeah, please let me know why he thinks that way because that's a bit um, weird. <laughs> let me get these stack. So, how do they feel about them? confidence this person <laughs> this person is so funny i think this person is like i'm confident in our connection that everything is gonna work out you're gonna be happy like he's very confident that you're gonna be together i don't know where this confidence is coming from i think this person really feels like he can make you feel happy and he can support you in your life he can make you shine and everything so how do they feel about them, please? <coughs> I 
<laughs> we have energy so i think he feels like your energies and everything matches really well so he's like and we have passion of course he's like we are really vibing together we are really happy together we have we are passionate so why yeah he's like why aren't we work work this relationship out guys this is not for everyone but i feel like maybe you feel like this person is not um not mature as you but i think this person has a really good heart and even though maybe he's younger than you i, th I think okay i'm not gonna say give him a chance because that's your choice everything is your choice but if i was dealing with this person i would probably give him a chance at least to just you know prove himself to see where to see what he can provide for this connection because he's really passionate about you he's like he just wants to be around you he wants to be support he wants to support you and i think your energies are also matching and i think guys you might be in the same maybe friend circle okay this is this is not for everyone but circles could be important just in your connection like just circle maybe this person likes to wear circle glasses or like round glasses something round could be important or maybe this person give you something maybe like a round necklace or i don't know you let me know so yeah this was your reading pile three and i hope you like it so if you feel like this reading resonated with you and if you want to see more you can subscribe to my channel and if you want to get a private reading you can find my email in the description box so yeah thank you so much for watching and until i see you on another reading please take care and i love you all bye bye